Can you eat anything you like when you break your fast with one meal a day? Of course you can. Only if you're not trying to lose weight. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So in this video, I wanted to share with you guys exactly what you are required to be eating and how much of it when you are trying to lose weight. So some people have been doing the keto diet, some people follow a normal diet, some people are doing paleo diet. Well, I'm here to tell you guys that you can do anything you like as long as you are in a calorie deficit. So the most important thing when it comes to losing weight, especially when you're doing one meal a day with all that hard work and energy and you're trying to lose weight, just make sure that you are in a caloric deficit. What I mean by caloric deficit, I mean that if your body requires 2000 calories to thrive, you can cut 500 calories out of that and eat only 1500 calories so that you can lose weight. That is a calorie deficit. And normally for a woman, you only need 2000 calories to eat for a man you need 2500 calories so cutting down 500 calories is ideal if you want to take it down a notch like myself i am eating 1200 calories if i do have a cheat day well i go wild but not more than 2000 calories of course but the main thing is you do not you must never go under 1200 calories because once you start going under 1200 calories guys that's where you are becoming malnourished so we do not want you to be malnourished i personally definitely don't want to be malnourished that's one thing for sure so make sure that you are properly fueled in your body you are eating enough calories which is 1200 calories to at least 1500 calories for weight loss and include some exercising. My form of exercise is walking and it's not too much, it's just 15 minutes as I'm still trying to teach myself on this OMED diet. What kind of foods can you eat? Guys, as I said before, you can eat anything you like as long as it's lower than your calorie deficit. So for right now, we are gonna be using what I use, which is 1,200 calories. So if you are on 1,200 calories, you can calculate. As I'm eating one meal a day, I could choose to have myself a streetwise two. A streetwise two is 826 calories or so. So with those calories, I could add in a Coke and that's almost 1,200 calories. That's my dinner. If I don't want that, I could decide that, hey, I actually want a healthy meal if i wanted a salad and some chicken that means that i'd have to have a huge bowl of a salad chicken salad which has to be really huge for it to reach to 1200 calories if i'm trying to eat one meal a day so calorie deficit is definitely important guys whether you're doing one meal a day or whatever form of intermittent fasting or you're not doing any intermittent fasting restrictions on your calories is highly required best app for you guys to use for counting your calories i use my fitness pal i've used my fitness pal for over 10 years now <laughs> yes it's been a struggle guys it's been a struggle with this weight loss eh? 10 years and i'm still this big <laughs> yeah but anyway so please use my fitness pal my fitness pal is quite easy to use my fitness pal is one of the best because first when you log into the website of my fitness pal or you can download the app on your phone there is information that is required so you need to at least know your height and you need to know your weight at least get that information ready before going to my fitness pal and putting in your information once you have your information and you are ready to go put that information in there it will ask you do you want to maintain your weight do you want to lose your weight you say okay i want to lose weight they'll say all right what weight do you actually want to become at the end of your goal put in there okay i'm 
120 kg I want to be 80 kgs they'll say all right for you to be 80 kg a healthy eating routine could be 1700 calories or 1500 calories whichever the app says depending on your height anyway because those things do work hand in hand that's why the app is really helpful because if you are shorter you won't need so much calories you know the science behind it is very complicated that's why they do require you to state your age you need to state your height you need to state your weight so with that information they can properly make a required calorie deficit especially for you so that's great news once you've calculated your calorie deficit and they have told you exactly how much you need to eat then you can decide guys you can go wild as long as you stick on that range that's my advice but if you're going the healthy route and teaching yourself good habits because at the end of the day we need to teach ourselves good habits we're not doing this for just weight loss we're doing this to maintain it for the future not just for right now right now I mean you can just do it for now and forget about it and gain the weight back you know you can do your diet that is your, your dieting right there so teach yourself good habits meaning cook your meals at home no need to get fancy and go buy a whole new groceries that you would never even tasted before you can still eat the food that you eat but make them at home it is better avoid fried instead of frying bake your foods and that has helped me a lot into creating better habits for myself and whilst i lose weight i hope you guys go ahead and download my fitness pal putting your information in there it will give you ideally how much caloric deficit your body needs and what you can function on and then you will lose that weight with ease in mind knowing that you're not overeating or under eating because under eating is also a problem i hope you guys have a lovely day i will see you guys on another video bye